Welcome back. Hey, guess what? Uh, there's a festival taking place in Fountain Hills. Desiree is live there this morning with details on this event. What a beautiful day to be out. Good morning. Oh my gosh, Celeste, it's gorgeous. We're catching a tan out here this morning in Fountain Hills. And right now we're with Paige Lawrenson. She's with the Chamber of Commerce. Tell us where we are this morning and what's happening this weekend. Of course, so we are here at the Fountain Festival of Fine Arts and Crafts in Fountain Hills. It's probably our most well-known event that we have here in town. And we have 300, over 300 artists of all different types, painters, sculptors, jewelers. And before we get too far, Brian, let's come in and show folks uh, this booth here. We have some jewelry and beautiful sculptures, uh, a stone sculpture over here, just gorgeous. So just like you said, so many different varieties, yes. over 300 vendors. Of course, yes, of all different types. And one of the things we like telling people is if you have $10 in your pocket or $10,000, there is something that you can take home that you love. There's really something for everyone. And Paige, you were talking about the bells that are yes, over here just course. across the street. Yes. Uh, this is a vendor that's been here before. A few years, yes. He does these beautiful sculptures and bells that I just think would look beautiful on anyone's patio, garden, even in their home. There's just really something about them. Yeah, and this event, like you said, it doesn't matter what you have. Mm -hmm. There's something here for everybody. Of course, yes. You're not charging an admission fee nope. or anything like nope. that. Free parking, free admittance, everything. And even tomorrow, what we're calling, kind of calling it the perfect day in Fountain Hills, we also have the Fountain Hills Music Festival. So okay. come for the art show in the day. Yep. And in the evening, come get dinner at the food trucks and stay for the concerts. It's just going to be the perfect day in and Fountain Hills. And look at this, Paige. The ladies are going to love it. It. The uh -huh. men, maybe not so much because, you know, we spend the men's money, <laughs> but clothing uh, for women. There's a little bit of everything. Sure. And beautiful paintings. Yes, one of my here. favorite. And we actually have a painter doing some art right here, kind of doing some touch ups, but some beautiful desert scapes and uh, right next to him, some food options. It's just a great, great option for those who like to eat. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And you said they can also come yes. um, to obviously the Arts and Crafts mm -hmm. Festival during yes. the day and then we have the music festival tomorrow of course, yes. starting at four, a little over. Four, yes. There are a few bands. There's food trucks, a beer garden with a local brewery here in town. Just I think it's going to be a really great day for those that want to get out, enjoy the warm weather and just spend a fabulous day in Fountain Hills. And this is something you usually have in February. Yes. But uh -huh. obviously we did are a little different phone. this year. Yes, we wanted to make sure everyone was safe uh, to be here at the event and everyone is just so happy to be back here out at the Fountain Festival. Uh, we were really lucky to have it in November but it's just something about being back here in the springtime that everyone just loves. Yeah absolutely. Anything else you want folks to know? You know, it's just, uh, like I mentioned, the free free admittance, free parking, and there's really nothing to lose. You can come and just stroll around, and I think you'll find something. Everyone always does, so it's just a great great place to be this weekend. Yeah, so, you guys, we've showed you everything from jewelry, clothing, paintings, beautiful sculptures here. So, again, something for everyone here in Fountain Hills. So, head on out. Uh, it should be a great time, you guys.